Ain't no secret, should do Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, leave a comment down in the video so I can sub back to you. Deuce. Ain't no secret, should do with Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, leave a comment down a post. I'ma sub back to you, rip, 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 rip. You know what I'm talking about? Whoa, hey my people, y'all know why we here. So first and foremost, um, congratulations to Terrence Bud Crawford um, on a, just a virtuoso performance last night over Arrow the True Spence. I gotta salute Arrow for just being, you know what I'm saying, um, a fighter, you know what I'm saying, um, tough. He was getting mangled up in there from the word go. Um, it wasn't no controversy. Uh, the better man, the more skilled man, the more powerful man, the more tactical man won that fight last night. Shout out to you, Bud Crawford. But we gonna go back, you know what I'm saying? October 10th, 2019, you know what I'm saying? Um, my dude, Errol Spence, now they say, uh, this, <laughs> this according to Charleston White, take it with a grain of salt, have heard of other places, this is uh, the Charleston White rendition, you know what I'm saying? So allegedly, take all this with a grain of salt, you understand me? But Charleston White saying like that um, Errol Spence was, uh, was known as the, the town drunk, you know what I'm saying? So when at first, when he was um, doing a buck, down a street that ain't you ain't got it's not no straightaway it's not no autobahn not no freeway he's on like you know what i'm saying like a, a road with the businesses a, a narrow a narrow ass street he's doing a buck flat um late in the morning early morning late night early morning in a ferrari 488 spider and if you know anything about them they may like your uh your 85 chevy caprices they may like your Delta 88s. They may like your Grand Nationals. Those made out of steel. That that Ferrari 488 Spider is made out of styrofoam. It's a miracle that this man is alive, man. I y'all saw the I put the footage um ahead of the video. Y'all saw and got no sound, but y'all saw that car doing just straight up flips. It did so many flips down that street, man. It's it's a miracle that man is alive and able to um you know what I'm saying proceed with his boss career. I honestly think that that crash took some out of him. I, I really do. Like, uh, Errol Spence was a different fighter, and there's no excuses because I think Bud would have beat that man pre-accident, post-accident, anytime, you know what I'm saying? But I do think that Errol Spence was a different fighter, you know what I'm saying, prior to that accident. But I digress. So, um, Charleston White is a legend that he wasn't drunk. A lot of people suspected that, you know what I'm saying? Now, he was buzzing, but, always a but. The reason he was doing a buck flat in that um, Ferrari 480, 488 Spider was allegedly Mo3 was on his ass. You know what I'm saying? Mo3 was had an issue with that cat. They was both from Dallas or whatnot, down there in Dallas. And Mo3 had an issue with um, with Errol Spence for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? He was coming to the gym, starting shit. You know what I'm saying? But allegedly, it was Mo3 on his ass. Some people saying that he was letting off licking shots at that cat. That's why he was, some people say he was just chasing them. Stories vary. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But allegedly Mo3 was on that man's ass. And, and he's the reason that he was doing a buck flat. And, and that car did all them cartwheels. You know what I'm saying? He almost lost his life. You know what I'm saying? Now, Charleston is alleging that, um, that Mo3 had a shooter. You know what I'm saying? That he used to drive around. And in this instance, um, a shooter up here in the D, and there might be other places, a shooter could be a shooter, but I'm not talking about that type of shooter. I'm talking about 
a car, a cheap car, a low key car. You just pay outright for cash to get you from A to B to Z. A low key car. You know what I'm saying? That's what we call a shooter. So Mo3 was in his shooter. He had a Honda. And it was it was out the way. They're saying that now when Mo3 died after he left his um, you know what I'm saying? After he left his uh baby mama crib, a lot of people were speculating that she backdoored that cat, set that cat up. Charleston White is a legend that <laughs> Errol Spence. He knew the he knew the car that Mo3 was in, and he's the one that gave the drop on Mo3's car, and that's when they caught Mo3 on the freeway, ran him down, took him up out the game. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Mo3. So this definitely, um, like I say, it's allegations. Take it with a grain of salt, but um, for all, everything Charleston White is, um, he is tapped in down there in the Lone Star State. I will give him that. So um, he's saying what this what's what's spoken around the campfire down there. So hey, either way it go, Errol Spence, you are blessed to be alive, my G. Um, and I wish you continued um, success because you you're still a great fighter. You just ran to a better fighter. You know what I'm saying? And hey, continued success for your career. And uh, I think you're talking about moving up to 154. That might be the best thing. Only thing is though. Bud might be moving up there too, cause he won't he won't Jamel Charlo. So hey, you might you might see that cat again. I honestly don't want to see a rematch. I think it's gonna happen. And whatever weight they they could fight at three hundred pounds, and Errol Spence is gonna beat the brakes off that cat. Just is what it is. Hey, make a comment down the post. You should do Eddie Kane Jr. If you ain't no renegade, hit that sub button. Welcome to the renegades, dude.